Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today is a very exciting day today. We're going to be picking corn for the first time this fall. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, we're, it's going to be a nice slow start today, kind of a trial run. Uh, we're not quite sure if the corn's ready yet, but we're going to see. And uh, today will be a good day to make sure all the equipment's running. The picker's been ready and set up now for the past week. Uh, my brothers and my dad set up the conveyor this morning. So uh, today's going to be a good uh, test fire day. And if the corn's fit and ready, we'll just keep going. But anyways, my father just took the picker up on the hill. So we're going to bring this gravity wagon up there. And uh, we'll see how that first load goes. And uh, I'll bring you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. So we are up on the hill and my father, he has started opening up the fields. Two rows at a time. So where he cut it there, where the rows run straight forward is tillage. And then when they cut that way, that's no-till. So it'll be interesting to see the yield difference between the two fields. During the month of June, you could really tell the difference between the two. a lot which is a good sign that it's dry enough kind of a fine line there you always lose a few kernels off the end of each cop but this is along the trees it should only get drier i would think as we go up sometimes you see a crack in the end of it. some guys throw them in a pail of water they float and they're drying up the cribbing but all right, so talking to my father after those first uh, two passes, he thinks the corn's definitely fit and ready to go because that was along the tree line, most of that stuff, up and over the hill. So he thinks as we work our way up the hill, it's only going to get drier and better. So I think we're going to keep going today. But uh, anyways, he's on his way back. So I think this next one here will uh, switch out gravity boxes and uh, we'll go down to the conveyor.
guys can see the cows are pretty curious about what's going on up here for these first uh, two loads we got to kind of use the pasture because we don't have enough room yet we'd hate to drive down the hay field above it so we got to use the pasture to turn around but anyways my dad's pretty happy with that first load so we're gonna hurry up go unload this and uh, we're gonna keep moving along Just brought load number three back up here and we're gonna grab load number four soon. Man, it is hot for an October day. Anyways, that's enough for talking. I'll get back to work and I'll send you guys with my dad on the picker. Enjoy.
there's load number 10 coming. This test fire is turning into a really productive day, which is nothing wrong with that. But uh, the first crib is dang near full. We'll for sure get that full today. Uh, but anyways, we're having a pretty solid day. A couple times it was really hard getting back to him in time. He's on this bigger field now, so he's got plenty of long rows. It's pretty hard to keep up to him. But we're managing and we're moving along. As you can see, the crib is uh, getting pretty full. She's uh, above the bottom of the roof, so we better climb up there and check and see how full we are. Well, we're getting pretty full. You guys better take a guess. How much you think is gonna fit in there? I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot in there really windy up here. Anyways, let's uh, unload this load quick. All right, it was a really productive first day. The picker's back down in the yard here. Uh, we got over a dozen loads done, so more than expected that's for sure the corn was plenty dry and we're ha really happy with how the day went all that's left is to clean up so thank you all for watching the video we really appreciate it we'll see you next time <laughs>